Hey guys, it's uh, heritage day. So my mom and I are just going for a walk. Say hello, ma. Hello. Um, so we're just going on an afternoon walk. And uh, I decided that since it is heritage day, um, I'll uh, do a quick video. But first I just wanted to show you. Um, it's the 24th of uh, September. So it's just meant to be the start of spring everything's gone green and it's looking lovely the 24th of september is a public holiday here in in south africa um it's meant to mark uh shaka day uh the day that uh, uh king shaka died in 1828 i think um and if you know the story behind it he was killed by his uh half uh, brother or his stepbrother and uh, uh it was a political move really but uh, he is credited with uniting the zulu nation of uh, south africa and the zulus actually come from the efforts of uh, king shaka so uh in south africa uh the 24th of september is uh commemorates uh heritage day and um, we actually use it to almost signify the start of summer because uh it's the first long weekend after what uh, is our winter um and uh it's generally when people make their first summer trips it's also um, national bride day so um, a braai in South Africa is a barbecue and uh, what we do on the 24th of September is usually set up our braais I'm not too sure how it became known as national bride day but I guess it's because many South Africans, no matter what your background, uh, enjoys a braai. And uh, I think it links into what I want to make this video about actually. Um, because just like um, the word braai is a very South African term, there's also, you know, many other South African nisms almost that uh, you will hear if you're visiting South Africa or you know if you're traveling around South Africa and uh, you know even though we speak 11 languages uh, there are few terms that you know cross those language barriers so I think the first one we'll start with is uh, the usual uh, greeting so if you go anywhere in South Africa and you say to someone, how's it? Um, they'll know that, uh, you know, you're greeting them. You're saying, hello, how are you doing? And uh, usually the response you'll get is sharp with a thumbs up. So uh, sharp means, you know, everything's going good. I'm all fine. Um, the other uh, response you could get is lekker. Uh, lekker, lekker, so a cracker, um, which is also uh, the Afrikaans word for, you know, it's going nice. So lekker is nice. Um, a more sort of Durban Indian response would be tops. Like uh, if you said, how's it? And, the, and then the response would be like, ah, tops, tops. Tops is, you know, everything is going well or it's you know very cool or something like that um and then if uh you know it's if you want to say something is excellent then you say over tops um i'm sure in a couple of videos where prashin and i were you probably heard prashin say tops quite a few times so it's his um word almost uh but tops is also the name of a local uh, how do I say it? liquor store uh, chain so it's uh, one of the well let me say it's spa 
the bottle stores for spa are called tops so you know tops could have an alternative meaning and uh, talking of bottle stores I guess um, with Bry Day a lot of South Africans will be also consuming you know their liquor so tomorrow morning there's a few people who are going to wake up and going to be babalas so babalas is the South African word for um, hangover yeah hangover you wake up with a headache in the morning and you're not feeling so good you are babalas um, and then I think uh, a few other words that you'll pick up as you go through South Africa uh, one of them is uh, Aibo Aibo is like an exclamation that you know it's unbelievable or it's also uh, uh, an, a way to express uh, excitement or even disbelief so you know if something if somebody tells you a story about oh no that person won the lotter and you're like I will he was lucky so yeah uh, I will is another one that you should know um, oh, we're just going past the church that's a bit noisy there's a wedding going on I think that's the other thing um, we in, in, in South Africa we celebrate you know weddings and stuff by singing and dancing so that was cool um, I think then one of the other words you need to know is uh, Aina uh, so uh, it's Afrikaans for something that you know causes pain so you like uh, you fall down and then you like ah ina but uh, it's also sometimes you know used sarcastically so if you happen to watch someone fall you laugh and then you're like ah sorry for your ina or you know ina um, and then with Aina, you uh, also have um, Ish, so one of the local brandy producers here um, made an advert and like the catchphrase was Met Ish, yeah, Met Ish. Uh, but Ish is uh, almost uh, another expression of disbelief or disappointment like uh, if you ask someone uh, for like hey loan me 50 rand and they're like ish I'm broke you know so that's an expression of yeah I think disappointment too that that can be used almost interchangeably with the eyeball as well um, and then we are walking in our neighborhood now and uh, one of the words you need to know maybe not so much here in the suburbs but uh, in some neighborhoods where the dogs <laughs> are not inside fenced areas and there's Hadi does you could find yourself uh, you know face to face with a strange dog in a strange neighborhood and uh, all the dogs in South Africa just understand uh, the one word and if you don't want to get bitten you're like FUTSAK and the dog will FUTSAK so FUTSAK means you know um, get away or go away and it's sometimes um, abbreviated to just SEK or T-S-E-K SEK um, it's also an expression of disbelief I should have told those Haridas to FUTSAK um, so yeah, I think a quick uh, rundown of some very South African words 
that uh, if you're traveling to South Africa you should know and if you're in South Africa and you are South African you're probably using on a daily basis if you have any that you want to add just uh, comment uh, comment with them on the comment section and maybe we can do a part two of this video